Hi, this is Howard, the Teaser King, coming to you with week nine of the NFL. Had a huge week last week. The locks were uh, Dallas, Green Bay came in easy. Uh, I wish all the locks were that easy where they're over, you know, by the fourth quarter. I, I could uh, light the victory cigar like Red Arbach used to. Uh, this week, I have a few strong games going. I will not have a lock, so please don't try to buy the lock because there isn't one to buy. But I have some strong games, but I just I don't really know that it's going to win, and I usually know when the game's going to win. Uh, I won't uh, I won't just lock to lock, but there are uh, I have a good three four really strong games going. Um, this is a kind of a weird week. I don't have Denver and San Francisco to play. Seattle's lane 16. I don't have Jacksonville and Detroit to go against. Uh, so it's a very difficult week to really find that lock. Uh, the teams that I like to play aren't there or play against. I'm very much in one of playing the strength and playing against the weakness. So I will look for the weak teams like Jacksonville and, and play against them uh, just to play against them versus uh, just playing Denver and everything or playing for Frisco or Seattle. Uh, let's look at a couple of games here. Uh, Tennessee's laying three to St. Louis. Uh, I have a hard time understanding Tennessee being favored in St. Louis. I get that. Um, uh, I get St. Louis quarterbacks out, and I'm picturing the guy, and I can't think of his name. God, uh, the Oklahoma kid. Uh, anyway, uh, Kellen Clemens is in, and I know it's a drop from uh, Sam Bradford. I'm sorry, it's a drop from Sam Bradford, but still. Uh, they just need to run the ball and play defense like they did Monday night. If they held Seattle to only five, uh, they lost by five and they should have won at the end. I just don't see Tennessee being a road favorite at St. Louis. Tennessee's not that strong of a team. They should be a road favorite over just about anybody but Jacksonville. So I like St. Louis and the points in this game. Um, San Diego laying one to Washington. I, I really like San Diego here. Uh, had Washington been a three-point favorite, I would have locked San Diego in nine. There's no way they would have lost by nine. Uh, as it is, they're laying one. San Diego's not a great road favorite, but Washington's a lousy uh, at home. And uh, I do like the five points, six points I can get with San Diego. Uh, they should definitely stay in there. They should win the game. Uh, Washington doesn't look very good. Their defense is very weak. The secondary is very weak. Uh, so River should have a field day in this one. I, I like the five points there. Um, Seattle laying 16 to Tampa Bay is a bit of a high number. If it was anything where I could get under seven, I would have probably locked the game. But because it's 16, I hate. I can't. I can't lock uh, over a 10 point in the NFL. Uh, I know Tampa's weak. Uh, Mike Lennon is a joke. I don't know what he's doing in the league. Uh, but Seattle lost Sidney Rice, and they just all they got is Golden Tate now. Uh, Marshawn Lynch will run the ball more, but again, that leads to field goals, and that that doesn't, you know, you got to lay, you got to win by ten in the NFL. Uh, it's just not that easy. So Tampa should put up a fight, but I, I mean Seattle will win the game. I'm not worried about that. But you saw them at St. Louis on Monday night; they only scored 14 points. Uh, St. Louis has a better defense than Tampa, but again, Seattle doesn't have their tackles, so makes it a very tough game. So just be careful with that. Take, play Seattle, but take them lightly. They're not uh, pl uh, playing on all cylinders, but they will pick Mike Glennon at least three times. If they run him back for pick sixes, it will be they'll, they'll blow him out. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. Um, One other game. Uh, let's look at Dallas is laying uh, nine and a half, ten to Minnesota. Uh, I look at Dallas to bounce back, and uh, I look at them to, to really put up a big number against Minnesota here. Dallas is uh, at home has played better. Uh, I lot I watch trends a lot, and the way I can figure how strong a team is is if they win as a road favorite or they're breaking their trends. Dallas was a play-against team at home for the last three years. All of a sudden this year, 
They're winning at home, and they're more of a play with at home than a play against. So I know they're getting stronger. They look a little different. Their defense a little bit better. Romo's not throwing as many interceptions as he usually does. But uh, Minnesota is just terrible. And I don't know why when you got Adrian Peterson how bad you can be. But if they think Josh Freeman's any good, I, I mean, I'm going to go apply for the GM job in Minnesota because these guys are clueless. Josh Freeman's terrible. If he was so good, why would Tampa let him go? And Tampa is terrible this year. Um, Christian Ponder, again, I you can watch one of my old videos that said, what the hell are they drafting him for? Uh, I just don't get it. Um, I don't. I just don't like Christian Ponder. I don't like Josh Freeman. And you haven't answered any of the questions. I mean, don't they know how to pick a good quarterback? It amazes me. I watch college all day tomorrow. I'll watch tonight's USC game. And you'll sit there. Now here's Sean Mannion from Oregon State. I think he's got 33 touchdowns and like two or three interceptions. Obviously, he's a good quarterback. He's obviously better than Ponder and and uh, Josh Freeman. I mean, maybe try drafting a guy like that who knows where to throw the ball, doesn't throw it all interceptions. They get too worked up in the height and the arm strength. It's not about height and arm strength. It's about does he know where to throw the ball and does he know how to complete the pass and not throw the interception. The NFL is all turnovers. You don't have turnovers, you're going to win. I mean, uh, it's just the way it is, and that's the problem in, 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 in football. It's the turnovers. That's why you lose. So, you know, you get a quarterback who doesn't turn it over. Well, Christian Ponder and Josh Freeman both turn it over. Anyway, I don't see Dallas having any problem here, um, at least winning by double digits. Uh, it really should be uh, not too much of a problem. Anyway, uh you can go to the website, www.teaserking.com. i got some uh, pretty strong games in the pros, uh, also in college. And uh, no locks. I haven't. I didn't find that game, but I have some really strong games. Uh, so anyway, uh, www.teaserking.com. Uh, again, the special of uh, 350 for the rest of the year for all my games through the Super Bowl, and it includes all the bowl games and the playoffs, as well as everything remaining. Well, good luck. I hope you guys make some money this weekend, and uh, have a nice weekend. Please leave me comments or whatever, and uh, if you want to talk about some games, I'll let you know. All right, have a nice night, everybody. Thank you.